Hi, my name is Dr. Mary Elizabeth Green. I'm a board certified cardiologist with additional board certifications in echocardiography, nuclear cardiology, vascular interpretation, and internal medicine. As the Director of Women's Heart Health here at Manhattan Cardiology, I'd like to talk to you today about women's cardiovascular disease. Did you know that the number one leading cause of death for women both in the United States and worldwide is heart disease? Did you also know that a woman is 10 times more likely to die of a heart attack than she is of breast cancer? By the age of menopause, a woman is equally likely as a man to die of a heart attack. The average age of menopause in the United States for women is 51 years old. If we are to live long, healthy lives well into our 90s, it is important that we pay attention early. My personal philosophy is that prevention is the best medicine. By being vigilant about our cardiovascular health and taking the necessary steps to improve it, no matter what your initial starting point is, will ultimately lead to a longer and healthier quality of life. While menopause is a pivotal time in a woman's life, as is pregnancy, oftentimes pregnancy can uncover undiagnosed cardiovascular disease. If you have experienced gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, high blood pressure during pregnancy, or HELP syndrome, you may be at increased risk for chronic cardiovascular disease or stroke in the future. If you have experienced any of these conditions, it is a wise choice to make regular follow-ups with your cardiologist. If you are a young, healthy female actively trying to prevent pregnancy and think this message is not for you, think again. Most young women do not know that progesterone-containing hormonal birth control can lead to increased blood pressure and increased cholesterol levels. Increased blood pressure and increased cholesterol are both well-known and well-studied risk factors for cardiovascular disease. If you have experienced the side effects of increased blood pressure and cholesterol levels while taking hormonal birth control, you may be at risk for future cardiovascular disease. We all know that women's heart health is both undertreated and underdiagnosed, and I'm actively working to change that. So ladies, be safe, be healthy, schedule a visit with your cardiologist. I'm accepting new patients.